News, traffic, weather, and business reports. This is double. Hello there. I'm back. So, uh, this is Boston downtown, and uh, our direction is going to be north of Boston, um, in particular Revere, um, Everett. So, we're going to take a left on West Street. This is Washington Street. Today is Labor Day. No, I don't know why these police officers are here and what are they doing. They're collecting stuff or they're helping people. Uh, they're helping people to uh, move in or move out. They might be part of the uh, police. Um, well, I don't even know what they're doing. What's all this stuff about? I gotta keep going. And I wish not to stay here much longer. This is Tremont Street. Lots of Asian people. And in front of us uh, is the public garden, or I think it's called the Commons. This time I'm gonna take a different route. There are too many ways to go to the destination. In particular, I'm gonna take the Copley Street. And then uh, we're going to get shortly after Storo Drive towards 93 North. And um, then we take the exit uh, 29, and that's pretty much it. And this is a portion uh, of downtown Boston that I wanted to show. Lots of people playing with lots of uh, wild animals, and in particular here there's uh, pigeons. They like to be fed. All these animals get used to uh, people because they feed them all the time. And as a result, they uh, hang around. And they're waiting for somebody to feed them. Lots of people were wandering around right now. It's 9.20. And we can see already people are wandering around. At this time, early in the morning, it shouldn't be the case, considering that it's Labor Day, people would be sleeping, but it sounds like it's not the case. And this is the public uh, garden, I think, on the left, that I'm just showing you on the So we're heading Beacon Street. We're gonna turn left on Beacon Street and then uh, first, first street, we will take a right 
on the first street we encounter. Well, not the first, I think the second. Not Brimmer, the... Not even Beaver Street, so I guess it's the third one. So we're gonna take 28 North, or also Star Drive. David Mug Mugger Way. On the other side is Cambridge. And next to us on this side is actually uh, Charles River, but you can't see it. But it's just after this street, after this highway 28. There's a stop sign here, I don't even know why there is that. And then a yellow sign. So we have to yell it to these people. Before we can come in. Here we go, this is uh, North 28 and we're going to 93 so we have to stick to the left all the way, all the way to the left. The weather is pretty nice today, it's uh, around 60, 63 outside, maybe 65 in Boston, so it's good. So we're going to take 93 instead of uh, Tobin Bridge. It will lead to Tobin Bridge as well as 93, so we're going to stay to the right go 93, those who stay to the left will take the Tobin Bridge. Tobin Bridge is a toll, it's a toll way. Well, it, you just pay for the, taking the bridge, that's all, to go to Revere. It's a short shortcut if you want to go to Revere from Boston downtown. Otherwise, you'd have to take our way and then, uh, so you'd add maybe like three miles or two miles more. Saves you two miles. And you pay I don't know how much, maybe two dollars one way. I think this is called the Charles Bridge. I might be wrong, Charlestown Bridge or something. Because Charlestown is on our right, where I'm pointing out to right now. And um, right about here, we're gonna have to stay to the right. We're going to take 93, and as you can see there, we're going to take 93 north instead of uh, route 1. I don't know what all of this is about, I haven't seen it before, it's a lot of rocks. Where do they bring all, that, all those rocks from? Maybe from mountains, somewhere far away, like Colorado or somewhere. So you see, this is a bridge that's very long, made of metal, and it has two levels. So there is that first floor, and there is a, the second floor above is the way we're going. We're going to catch up with it just in a moment. And it's a very long one, and uh, has lots of concrete on that, uh, on that iron bridge. I don't get how much, how much it took them to build it, and, and that's insane. It's big. It's huge. It must have... Uh, been a big investment. I don't know what year they built it and how long it took them to make it. It might have taken them over four years or so. That is an insane uh, project. It's it's like a mile long 
or more, a mile fucking long or more, all iron. Where did they make that iron from? Where did they find all the iron to begin with? And how did they make these long and strong pieces? And how come it would not collapse? I mean, all it takes is just one uh, mistake, like where they uh, solder the metal together. It's extremely strong, though, and you see it's very long. It's all the way to here, and you can still see it. It's still ongoing. That's amazing. It starts from Boston downtown. It comes all the way down here. And man, they are so crazy about building bridges using metal, using iron. I haven't seen that anywhere else. And this is the exit we just took, uh, 29. And we're, uh, this is assembly, so we're going to assembly square. This is the assembly mall. You can see stables on the right. That's where we're going. Not the stables, just the direction. <laughs> I'm not going to stables. But I thought it would be interesting to show you one side of Boston. And there you go, you got it. So I hope you will like it. And, uh, and I wish to see you again later on. Maybe in another film. That's the mall. Okay, bye for now.